Let's compute the limit, the limit when x approaching to 4, x squared minus 4x over x squared minus 3x minus 4. The first thing that we should do is plugging 4 into all the x and see what we get. So let's see. We have 4 squared minus 4 times 4 over 4 squared minus 3 times 4 minus 4. On the top, this is 16 minus 16, we get 0. On the bottom, this is 16 minus 12 minus 4, we also get 0. In another word, we have a 0 over 0 situation. In this situation, this means that we have to do more work. So let's come back to our expression. I see that x squared minus 4x, we can factor out an x. So that will do that, x, and I will have x minus 4 left in the parentheses. And on the denominator, x squared minus 3x minus 4, I can also factor this out. I can factor this out as x minus 4 times x plus 1. And notice that we have a common factor x minus 4 on the top and the x minus 4 on the bottom. And we can cancel them out. And in fact, these two factors are the ones that cost us 0 over 0. But we cancel it out and what we get is this will be the same as the limit when x approaching to 4 on the numerator which will have the x on the denominator we have x plus 1 and now after we cancel out the x minus 4 top and bottom this is what we get and once again we plug in 4 again into all the x I will have 4 on the top over 4 plus 1 and you see that this is nothing but just 4 over 5 and if you have a nice answer, that's it. This is the answer for the limit.